So there seems to be some confusion happening right now about what words mean. Now, we had President Obama giving a bunch of terrific speeches this week. His speech to the school kids was superb, and only an absolute fucktard idiot would have a problem with it. His speech last night was completely inspiring. Uh, the Republican rebuttal among the dumbest things I've ever heard in my entire life. But there's really a lot of dishonesty happening here. You lie! You lie! Shut up! Done. Why is it that through eight years of the Bush administration, people who criticized Bush or his administration or the war overseas were considered un-American? And those people now are just complaining about Obama for no apparent reason all the time. I guess she's then suggesting that since she's clearly never studied anything in her life, that makes her an American. If being an American to you people means to just not know shit. I'd say aim higher, personally. Your country deserves better. Okay, we've all seen that clip of that crazy lady crying on the news. <laughs> Obama wants kids to study hard. And studying hard is code for being a Nazi. Or people saying that socialized healthcare will mean socialism, and socialism will mean fascist, Islamic, terrorist, Nazism, communism, because all those words apparently mean the exact same thing to these people. <laughs> oh, it's so maddening. God. It's funny, you know, these people are saying that socialized healthcare will lead to socialism and that will lead to Nazism. That will lead to Nazism. But what have we seen in the last year? We have seen people in America ganging together to vote as a majority to deny an historically oppressed minority equal rights. <laughs> Encouraging children to study in school, people who don't have proper health care, chipping in to help them. How can you say that that is Nazism when all of you folk ganging together to declare lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgendered people to be second-class citizens? How is it not closer to Nazism to be casting votes to deny an historically oppressed minority within your country equal rights, privileges, and treatment? I don't get that. I don't get it at all.